welcome back and today we are completing our haunted house project so you should have your background with our colors went from a very dark purple to a light purple to pretty much a white for our moonlight and we'll make our haunted house and it could be any shape you want it to be um, using your black paper you can go ahead and draw it out and it can be, it does not be perfect, it's a haunted house. So it could be angular, it could look weird. So I'm gonna make big, crazy lines and triangles to make my haunted house. Again, it doesn't have to be pretty, it's a haunted house. Haunted houses are usually all messed up, broken down, creepy looking. So I drew mine here just very quickly, just simple lines, triangles. And cut it out. And again, keep some of your black construction paper because we're going to add maybe one tree, maybe two, to our haunted house. Right now, I just put it in my haunted house, and again, keep that scrap paper for for uh, the next part of this project. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a haunted house. Haunted houses are worn down, broken windows, um, messed up roofs. So it's fine. It's not perfect. This is my haunted house right here. The next, I'm going to go ahead and glue it on with my glue. So pretty much this is a silhouette of a haunted house, so it's black against the moonlight. And you can decide where you want yours. I'm going to put mine on this side. And to make it more like a house, especially a haunted house, we're going to have some yellow lights coming from our haunted house using this yellow paper. And you can make just pretty much simple squares and rectangles to be the light coming out from the windows. And you can put them anywhere you want on your haunted house. Maybe your haunted house is like a watchtower or it could be even a haunted castle. And you place them where you want to see, like maybe there's light coming through that window. Add one more window. So it's your haunted house right here. And then next, if you want to do trees, you can use a black marker or your construction paper and just make little lines. And again, they don't have to be perfect because tree branches are curvy, they're crooked looking. Make a simple little tree. Next to the haunted house. And if you want to add more stuff to your picture, add more details. You can also add maybe little bats. And again, there's the tree. And for the bats, just use your scissors. And again, just think about maybe like carving it up and down like an extended long M. That's how I think of my birds and bats. Think of curved lines. For example, just like this. Or can also, if you want to make it easier yourself, just cut out two small triangles to make the wings. And put it near the moon. Or something, maybe something else flying in the air or in the sky if you want. Make it be a witch. Again, just make what you want to do. If you feel comfortable, what you do comfortable. So it could be bats, it could be birds, 
maybe an owl. This is your haunted house scene. So I have my bats, my tree, and my haunted house silhouetted against the moonlight. Well, that includes our project of our haunted house with our against our moonlit sky. And I'll see you next time for our last Halloween project.